60 seconds, one minute. Eight Floors Can Change Will's Life in Jason Reynolds' award-winning novel, Long Way Down. The rules tell Will what he must do. One, no crying. Two, no snitching. Three, revenge. It is clear he needs to kill the person who shot and murdered his brother, Sean. In his emotionally intense elevator ride down from his apartment to the ground floor, Will encounters various passengers that force him to critically look at the life we want to lead versus the life that society imprints on us. Life changing is something that 13 year old Henry must face in the book, We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. The aliens that abduct him tell Henry he gets to decide if the world is going to be spared in 144 days. It should be an easy decision. But Henry doesn't know if he wants to save the world. He sees humans as significant as ants, and his life hasn't been all that great. His mother is struggling, his older brother dropped out of college and has a pregnant girlfriend, and his grandmother has Alzheimer's. This sci-fi story sees Henry deal with the suicide of a past boyfriend, a new relationship, and the social impact of being the space boy. How can he choose to save the world if he can't save himself? Stock up on bandages and painkillers. Cover sharp table edges, lock the knives away, and invest in bubble wrap. Every October, under the foreshadowing of the deaths of her relatives, Kara's family becomes accident prone. A mysterious curse brings broken bones skin tears, and bruises in the thought-provoking horror story, The Accident Season, by Maura Fowley Doyle. Fowley Doyle's debut novel finds Kara unraveling the mystery of her family while trying to be a regular teenager. At a Halloween party in a haunted house, secrets start to ignite, and we find that some of the accidents are not accidental. Secrets are also being kept in Marina Boudot's novel, Watched. Everyone knows to be careful what you say and who you say it to. Anyone might be watching. Under the shadow of 9-11 and terrorism, Nareem makes a mistake that leads him to make a deal with the local cops to spy on his Muslim neighbors. Nareem believes he can do some good, but over time, he starts to question whether he is the hero or the villain. This culturally diverse, realistic fiction allows us to look at Islamophobia and what it's like to grow up under surveillance, all while trying to make the right choices for ourselves and our communities. Justice, Justice McAllister is also trying to make the right choices in his life. He is top of his class, captain of the debate team, and is on track for an Ivy League school. Being in the minority at his primarily white school, Justice deals with racism and his identity in the novel Dear Martin by Nick Stone. After Justice nearly gets arrested and is pushed to the limit when a friend is shot by a white off-duty police officer, Justice starts to wonder if the teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King still hold up. This realistic contemporary story has Justice attempting to figure out his place in the world by exploring the writings of Dr. King. If you are interested in a book that does more than just tell a story and one that motivates you to think about situations and choices the characters make, I encourage you to consider putting one or more of these books on your to-be-read list.